What's good? It's Jigozi. Friday, March 13th, 2020. Look at this contrived propaganda from the coronavirus. Let me just tell you right now. You have to tell yourself and just be truthful to yourself. If they have to contrive all this propaganda, make these people up, make these stories up every single day, then that should be your answer. The coronavirus is a bunch of bullshit. It is a hoax. It is nonsense. If it was really such a big public health crisis, something so serious and severe, everything from the media wouldn't have to be completely made up at this saturation. Confusion over the availability and criteria for coronavirus testing is leaving sick people wondering if they're infected. This is the headline from this propaganda updated at 1014. Look at this 4 minute 11 second video, Assassin 411, but let me show you the names of some of these people. And you'll see, and I, I haven't covered everything on here. There's some other names I want to touch, but I want to touch a couple of them. And you'll see how it's contrived. Anger, frustration, fear. Patients describe testing rejection. Hilal Bayrak of Santa Clara, California, was among those who said he couldn't get the peace of mind a test might bring. He came down with a 104 degree fever and started coughing and wheezing about a week ago. He had been working alongside a co-worker who had just returned from Italy. The two, shared a co <laughs> the two shared a keyboard, he said. So notice how Hilal Bayrak came down with a 104 degree fever. In Gematria, the practice of coding numbers behind words, Bayrak, his last name equals 104. You reverse in alphabetical order. Notice how his first and last name, Hilal Bayrak, equals 71. Another big number on this ritual. Look at what they did on the 71st day of the year, you know, March Madness tournaments, which is 71 Camatria, got frozen. But Bayrock equals 104 when you reverse the buckle order. So A is 26, Z is 1. You add the letters in his last name, 104. So he specifically, very specifically, has a what? 104 degree fever. Do you see how they let you know they use Gamatria? in their propaganda throughout their rituals, putting on these events. This is contrived. And they're letting you know, again, he returned from Italy, which equals 67, like Wuhan, using it as a piece in this propaganda. So look at the next person we have. I'll show you the next person. Don Clemens has been sick since March 6th. The 49-year-old lives in a Largo, Florida assisted living facility because she suffers from health problems, including a compromised immune system. From Florida, of course. Florida with the death-killing murder numbers. Remember my last video? I was trying to not really guess, but we're saying I can't wait to see what state this person's from. Possibly Florida. I always want to guess that first. Why? Because they're used in these types of rituals. So just to show you how rampant it is, we already see Florida. But look at her name. Don Clements. See, Don Clements equals the same thing as pandemic. I'll show you right now. And then we'll just leave it there. Well, actually, there's one more name I kind of want to look at. I don't know what, what it equals. First off, Don. Don equals 42 and 15, 66. Like sick. They're saying that she's sick. And she's you know, we're weak in the immune system. They made it pretty clear that she's sick. She's in a assisted living facility. Don and Sick have the same gematria and three of the four base ciphers. And then let's look at Clements. Don Clements. And then I'll type out pandemic. And just understand that coronavirus also equals 65. Pandemic 6543, like Don Clements. You see this? Every person that they've talked about has these numbers. So I love the thing Zachary Kelber for pointing out, but Sophia Gregory, I didn't do the gematria of that, but that equals 65 as well, like the same pattern. So her name had this as well. So again, I always give them the benefit of the doubt. Oh, she's the one I didn't see that in her name. And no, I was wrong. They had it in her in her actual name, her pre-married name, which is her real name. You know, her, her marriage is very well fake. She's just another actor for the federal government. Justin Trudeau and his wife. So I hope you just saw that there, the gematria behind that. I mean, come on, look at all the things we've put out. Every name of the people in this, their name equals the same thing as this pandemic stuff. Let me do Clements real quick. 
But before we go back to the Camacho calculator, we'll do Clemens. But I want to do one more name. There's someone who was 28th. You know, Pinellas County. Been using this. That name even in itself, I can't help but, uh, you know, just notice the, the riddle behind it. Shelby Kozer. I want to do that one. But let me type in Clemens. Clemens. Equals 28, 44, you know, cancer 44, kill 28, 44. Clemens equals 37 as well, because Clemens equals 28. I'm not going to type it back in, but here's how you learn Gematria. Clemens equals 28 in that full reduction, right? So, S is the 19th letter. So, reducing S only once, you'd add 9, because it becomes 10. So that becomes what? 37, like virus. Shelby Kozer equals 59, 158, 139, like Freemasonry, 49, like Scottish. So again, when you don't have the main pattern, you have them branding the numbers for Scottish for Freemasons. Every time it's the same exact thing. And then of course, Shelby equals 28. And I'll show you again the how the 37 works. So when you reverse the alphabetical order, H is the 19th letter. So 1 plus 9 is 10. So reversing and reducing only once. See how this works? Shelby equals 37. These are the numbers for virus. Virus 26, 37. Here we get the 71 again. See what I'm saying? Shelby Kozer, kosher. I mean, you get the type of nonsense this is. Kozer, 67. Like Wuhan. 23, like Wuhan. We even have the 68. We have the Wuhan numbers in this. See? 23, 68, 67. Like Kozer. This is all contrived. So I wanted to show you viruses gematria. Virus, 26, 37. You know what I mean? 46 as well. We had that earlier with something. I think Halal, that guy's Halal's name, I think his full name equals the same thing as Virus. Halal Bayrak, 46 like Virus. You see what I'm saying? It's the same pattern. That's why I can't wait to make even more videos. I'm going to make so many videos showing you the same pattern. I'm still going to show you the video how Mike DeWine, the governor of Ohio, said that there was... Here's a preview, because I'm going to do this video. I'm going to do it. Everyone need the world needs to see this. Stark County is the fourth case of coronavirus in the state of Ohio. Stark County equals 67. It's 67 days from Mike DeWine's birthday. And, you know, it's a big Wuhan number. We just saw the number here now in the names. So, you know, that's what we're going to look at next. But that's pretty much the whole riddle anyway. So, once again, just ask yourself, even if, even if you want to assume this whole stuff is real, you, you, you're 100% have, have the coronavirus, you know for a fact, whatever. Okay, then, is, is it really such a bad thing? Like, they're clearly blowing it up, telling you about Tom Hanks and his wife, which is all by the numbers. Tom Hanks equals the same thing as pandemic. Rita Wilson has the same numbers as this. Wilson, coronavirus, both, both equal 70. And you see how they're making up stories. They're giving you contrived names. The CDC is putting all this up by the numbers. They keep bringing up Sanjay Gupta. Like he knows what he's talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah he does because he's an actor. Saying exactly what he's supposed to say. So yeah, he does know what he's talking about. He knows exactly his script. He knows his lines. So yeah, if someone ever says, if someone ever tries to argue with you about Sanjay Gupta not knowing what he's talking about, you tell him no. Sanjay Gupta knows exactly what he's talking about. He's an actor. He knows his lines every single time. He's a skilled, trained actor. Quit falling for his propaganda. Peace out.